Yo, what is up guys? Underpowered here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video telling you guys how to get easier nuclears in Black Ops 3. The gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background is going to be a 6v6 TDM gameplay on a map Aquarian. I am going to be using the score streak setup, the UAV hater and the rap score streak setup. And the reason why I'm using the raps and not a power core or a count UAV is because I personally myself do not go for nuclear score streaks just because you don't get any kills from them it is just only a medal but um, I know that a lot of you guys probably do want to get the nuclear so today I'm going to be making you guys a video telling you how to get the nuclear but um, the first tip I'm actually going to give you guys this is probably the most important tip I can actually give you you need to use a weapon which you are very comfortable using there is no point using a weapon which you are not very familiar with or is very hard to use say the weapon like the M8A1 or M8A7, whatever it's called on this game. It's a four round burst gun and um, it's a skill weapon. If you have very bad aim, it's no point using that weapon because the chances of you getting a nuclear is going to be stretched compared to if you guys are going to be using a nuclear or a weevil or a VMP or anything like that. So definitely the first tip I can give you guys is use a weapon which you are comfortable using. And in today's gameplay, I am going to be using the Man of War. I am using the Suppressor. That is definitely a great tip to give you guys. When going for a nuclear, if you're not very comfortable being on the radar or you just want to stay hidden, then Suppressor is definitely a great attachment to use. Definitely probably one of the best, especially on the Man of War. It still makes the gun pretty powerful. Let's get into the per which you guys are going to be wanting to run. Number one, Ghost, of course, you know me. I'm such a big fan of the Ghost perk. I like to be hidden off the radar. I say this in every single tip video. I like the perk Ghost. If you guys are going to be going for the nuclear and say you pick the CUDA for the weapon which you want to use, then you may want to use Scavenger so that you can have the CUDA for the all 30 gun kills. So maybe Scavenger, Fast Hands and Ghost. You could maybe take off Blast Suppressor if you don't jump around a lot. But me, myself, I jump around a lot in this game so Blast Suppressor is definitely needed. Now let's get into the most important tip of this actual video and that is going to be the playing style which you guys are going to be playing. As you've already noticed, I'm playing 6v6 TDM. Me, myself, I'm a very high KD player, considering I have not reset my stats. I currently got around 86k kills from day one of the game. And like a lot of people, they play the game for around one, two, maybe three prestiges, and they reset their stats to try and get a high KD. I never needed to do that. Me, myself, I don't really care about stats in the game, to be totally honest with you guys. I just play for fun. But um, with my KD, which I do have, when I do play TDM, they put a lot of the scrubby players on my team. So say I could get 50 kills, I could still lose the game. So it's important for me every game to get my score streaks. But as you guys do see, I'm aiming before the enemies are around the corners. I'm aiming before every corner, just because I know there could be an enemy there. Like right now, I'm, I jump around the corner and I'm aiming because I know that there's going to be some enemies running around there. Also, look at the mini-map. My teammates are right by me at the moment. They're about to badge me, which nearly gets me killed. They definitely need to get rid of that in Black Ops 3. But um, I'm running straight ahead because I got a feeling that there's going to be some enemies around here because the mini-map is all mixed up. Now I got my hater. I get shot. The smart thing to do is run and fight another day that's definitely a very important trick don't always challenge the gunfights when you don't need to and look what i'm doing right here i'm aiming well i'm not now i'm aiming i'm aiming because i know the enemies are coming and i'm just playing it slow it looks like i'm rushing but i am playing the game pretty slow i get into a very bad situation here just aim before you go around the corners thank you all for watching this video guys if you do want more tip videos feel free to let me know Thank you all for watching, thank you for the support, if you could hit the like button I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you guys soon with another video, peace out guys.